Hey, Sarah here from Project Shiro Studios with another AU Redesign Challenge. The show where my patrons pick a pop culture character and I redesign them into a random alternate universe version of themselves. Ugh, this one is super late. There is a reason. And that reason is depression. Doing random art for no reason. Procrastinating so I won't go insane. I'll probably vent a lot in this episode, so if you aren't in a place to hear about mental health stuff, I understand. Just mute the video and watch the pretty drawings. I won't mind. Before we get into that, though, let's take care of business. The patrons chose Benjamin Sisko this time, and I was excited to finally do some Deep Space Nine. Let's watch the genre roll. Alrighty, we've got two dice to choose here out of my collection. We need a... D10 and a D6. What we need is Command Red and Federation Blue. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, 47 to High Windy. Yes. Kitten Break, I guess. Yes, Wendy, it... It's not to go in the extended edition. I can't have shorts this long. Okay, can you get out the way? I'm busy. There's no 47 on the list, so let's roll again. <laughs> oh. 10. Okay, what's number 10? Well, it's number 10. Oh, I can see it already. Oh boy. All right, so the references I picked, um, I tried to remember all of the black Disney characters that I could. There's uh, Derek Maza from Gargoyles, and then Tiana's father, James, from Princess and the Frog. Um, and I know there was a couple others, like uh, John Henry, and... Um, did they cartoonify the guy for Song of the South, or did they just leave him as a, a regular person with animated things? I don't know. Anyway, um... I tried to pull as many references as I could and then copy them to learn their traits. Um, and <laughs> then I started watching some uh, Disney animator draw, so I was trying to copy a bit of that. Um, unfortunately, he was he was a guy who did a lot of very shapey characters and not a lot of humans. Um, so not super applicable, but yeah, but the best I could. So I'm not used to cartoonifying real humans, um, and it's even worse trying to cartoonify them into a style that I don't usually use, aka Disney style. It's um, it, it's eerily close to my own style, but mm, I guess not close enough. I don't know, not close enough for my own uh, high standards anyway. So <laughs> um, I, f I feel like I don't have enough shapes in my cartoon lexicon to cartoonify real people if that makes sense and i didn't want to cartoonify cisco too much because he's a very measured character anyway like he's uh, i respect him so much and i don't want to make him look silly oh um so i i tried drawing him just in my style first and then um Try to push him farther and farther into the Disney style. Um, it's weird drawing lips because I don't usually draw lip lines on my female characters, let alone on males. So I had to figure that out. Um, learned a few new lip shapes in the process, which is nice. Um, I think this is like my second time trying to Disneyfy Cisco. His head's way too short. Um, and then I did a little... <laughs> I 
Um, I did a little um, gesture drawing here. Oh, look at me not being able to find words. Words are hard today. Words are hard, y'all. Um, I had major imposter syndrome on this project. Um, mostly because, and I mean, the drawings turned out fine, but like, you know, when your period brain goes, oh, this is terrible, and then your brain's like, oh, I did one terrible thing, therefore I deserve to be terrible forever. Ugh. I could have gotten more references, I could have been a better artist, blah blah blah. Downer, downer, downer. Um. Oh, thank goodness for this calming music, huh? I had this image that I wanted to draw since I started this project. Um. I, I knew Disney Cisco either had to be like some weird, um, holodeck AU or just like a simple Cisco on vacation kind of thing. And that's what I chose in the end. Just. Just sitting and fishing and being calm and not having to worry about <laughs> the horrors of war uh, or anything going wrong. Now that was the the best, most Disney-ish um, headshot that I managed. Um, and then I immediately tried to do it with recorders and then it went weird again. So I don't end up using any of those in the end. Um... But the doc drawing, I think it came out fine. It's... It's fine. It's not my best work, but... I learned a few things. That, that counts for something, right? Uh, I didn't want to even put this video out. Even though I've watched several of my favorite YouTubers recently who were like... Yeah, I did this in a day because I had to, or yeah, I was really struggling with this project, and I'm like, oh, thank you for being so, you know, <laughs> not positive, truthful. Thank you for being truthful and for trusting us with your real lives when it comes to doing that for myself. Just like, no, no, I don't. E I don't even want to exist during this period. I don't want to force that on other people. It's like, I don't want to, like, die, but it's, instead of wake me up when September ends, it's, like, wake me up when my brain is better, you know? Oh. Here we go. Um, I put him in some overalls with, like, one, that funky 90s pattern um, that you sometimes see him and Jake wear. There's all sorts of patterns in that show. It's great. And, um, there's, there's not much else for me to talk about, really. Just eyedroppering a skin tone from some screenshots here. And then I just kind of went for my gut <laughs> with the, the colors. I, um, I settled on jewel tones and that's about all the direction I had. There's not even really a pattern in that vest jumper thing. I don't know. I, what what patterns did they base those clothes off of in DS9? What even... <laughs> Is there a video about that online somewhere I can watch? Clothing design in Deep Space Nine because that was way outside my comfort zone and I would love to learn more about that. So here I am just sledding in the dock. I wanted to go with a lineless style to make it look more like an animation cell. And of course, uh, <laughs> flats have to be weird wacky colors to be distinguishable.
tried out some new brushes for this. Um, I think. Right, I tried some gouache paints first, and that. Ugh, I just don't know how to work with those. Um, so in the end, I think I ended up going with like chalks and pastels, which basically worked like my usual brushes, just with a different texture. And it worked, I guess. Just adding in some lines. Painting is at least something that I've done in the past. And I should do more of it. But at this point, I already knew I was late with the video, so I didn't, I didn't go overboard. Probably could have put a bit more extra color tone in there. But like I said, I was already late. I already wanted to be done. I already wanted to stop existing. And uh, I just didn't want to put more pressure on myself. You know? I did, however, um, color the line work in because that is a, a big part of a lot of Disney animation is colored line work. Um, and there's probably uh, an action in the CSP shop for this somewhere, but I didn't want to go looking for it because I knew I would get sidetracked on the CSP shop. <laughs> so I just did it myself. And it turned out good enough. throw in some very soft shading here and I decided to get rid of the black sh eyeshadow that I usually do and um, there we have it put a little bit of uh, reflection in the water some fun <laughs> chalky bits on the side and there we go my good enough Disney Benjamin Sisko. He's at least having a good time and chilling out. So. This is what I want to be doing right now. Chilling out. And I might go do that as soon as I upload the video. <laughs> Sorry for all the downer talk. Sometimes that's how it be. Thank you for watching anyway. I, I really appreciate it. Many thanks to my dear patrons as well, whose names are on the screen right now. They are uh, what make this video monetarily possible um, and also possible possible because they vote on the characters. So if you want to get a vote, go ahead and sign up for any Patreon tier at patreon.com slash Project Shiro Studios. And there will be another of these videos in about three months. So um, yeah, thanks again and have a great day, great night, great whatever. Thanks for watching.